every turn, every tactic, every maneuver, every second down to the hundredth. To be a champion in any endeavor, sport, business, or life, there has to be unquestionable domination. So what makes CrowdStrike CEO George Kurtz think he can drive the world's most commanding racing machine? A relentless, dominant, undeniable, driving ambition. The journey to drive a modern era Formula One car. first racing experience was probably racing quads around and anything that had a motor I tend to like to get on and race. It's the competitiveness of racing. It's the clock. There's no hiding. You, you can't make up excuses. You know, either you just look at the leaderboard. Either you're first or you're not. George Kurtz is CEO and founder of CrowdStrike, the official cybersecurity partner of the Mercedes-AMG Patronus Formula One team. This partnership means CrowdStrike protects the team's people, processes and technologies from cyber threats as they compete around the globe. George is also an experienced GT racer and competitor. But today, he will begin his journey towards fulfilling his lifelong dream of driving an F1 car the crown jewel of the auto racing world. Hey, George Kurtz, how are you? Hi, I'm here. Nice to meet you. That's not the car you're going to be driving. Mm -hmm. I still haven't really got Our first contact with Mercedes was really from the Formula One team. They were looking to switch off uh, an operating system vendor that was providing cybersecurity for them, and it just wasn't meeting their needs. Uh, the system was slow and just not doing what they needed it to do. And obviously, performance on their computers is critical in a race weekend, right? You can't have them sluggish, and more importantly, you can't have uh, an outbreak, a ransomware attack. So we were able to basically um, show them what we can do, how we could protect their systems, how we can do that with performance, the level of engineering that we put into our product because they wanted to select the best product. And that's where the relationship was born. Interesting how forward your leg, you know, up your legs are compared to like a GT car. Mm -hmm. First, we'll get you to get your molds mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. Um, that's probably the most relaxing part of the day because by the time you've got the foam in your ears, you can't hear anything. Okay. So let's go yeah, yeah, okay. All right. It's tight in there. <laughs> the noise from an F1 car is nearly as loud as a jet engine. George needs custom-made ear molds that will protect his hearing while maintaining crystal clear radio communications. Here's a bit cold, okay? No you start hearing the, the ear impression process is a moment of calm in an otherwise hectic day. Well, it was one of those things that we put together with Mercedes where we were working on a customer program and we thought, you know, what would it be like to get some customers in, in the car? And, and we basically said, okay, well, let's, let's start with you guys, meaning CrowdStrike. I mean, you know how to drive a car. Can we take someone with my skill level, which is you know at the professional level, but not F1 level, can you take someone at that level and train them up into the simulator and then get them into a Formula One car? How's your training going? Yeah, pretty good. Doing the, uh, you know, was traveling a bit, but neck exercise, you got the rubber bands. Running. Formula One drivers experience enormous stress on their bodies, and especially on their neck. It's never, never easy when you're on the road so much, though. George has been given a set of exercises to strengthen his body, as he can expect to experience up to 6G in the cockpit of the F1 car. Right. Your muscle takes two weeks to build up, so... I mean, now it's just making sure we... I gotta race this weekend, too. <laughs> Ears fit. I passed the first test, I got to hear both. <laughs> In preparation to drive the Formula One car, George must demonstrate to the Mercedes engineers that he can safely and competently drive the several million dollar bespoke racing simulator. The technology that drives this multi-axis simulator is so secret, 
Few members of the Mercedes F1 team are allowed in this building. This is your team on Okay. If you don't start with the right people, if you don't have the right team in any sport, including Formula One, you're just not going to be competitive. You can have the best driver in the world, the best uh, car in the world, but if you don't have the right team around that person, you're not going to win. How are you? George Kurtz. Oh, nice yes. to meet you. Yeah, yeah. good Thanks. to see you. George's coach and mentor for the simulator session, British former racing driver, F1 commentator and simulator driver for the team, is Anthony Davidson. The, the, the key is trying to match it is to make everything as close as we can okay. to his real car. Mm -hmm. You're in for a real treat. Yeah. Yes. I'm excited for you. I'm excited. <laughs> Driving an F1 car demands very careful engine management. George has to keep the engine revs in the correct zone. If he gets this wrong, he risks permanent damage to this priceless racing car. Right, here we go. So, flat into three. Lift, down one gear. Back on the throttle, come on. Yeah, I can tell you if he does half of what he's doing here in the real car, that would be a real achievement. By the end of the simulator session, George is delivering consistently improving lap times, which are just a few seconds away from the lap time of a professional driver. That was awesome. Hot impressions? Huh? Yeah, that was fantastic. What was different to what you expected? I mean, just how, how fast the car turns, you know? It just, it just reacts very quickly, so you, just got, you got to, can't get behind the car. For me, what I'd love to do is look at the pro video, get a data trace and just understand, yeah. and then just pick three things to work on for the next yeah. session. Just yeah. only three. You, you'll yeah. see them. Formula One and cybersecurity have a lot in common. They both rely on constant innovation. They're both data intensive, and it's really about the insights that drive strategic performance. How much data can you use to get a better strategic outcome? So it's that technology element, it's the speed element, and it's the fact that you need a lot of precision in cybersecurity, just like Formula One, to be the best in the world. So big lift in here. Yeah. That's coming in at three. Correct. Yeah. And which is, which is fine. Like the, the lift itself mm -hmm. is short enough in duration that that's not going to be a problem. Okay. So if, if that's what you feel you need to get into that rhythm, that's absolutely fine too. Before George can drive this car, he has to be kitted out and measured for the cockpit. The custom-made seat has little padding, so the driver can intimately feel how the car is connected to the track. I do a lot of training for my GT racing and, and prototype racing, but Formula One is a whole nother level, and I think this is one of the areas that I had the most question marks on. Um, I think everybody did. Could you take an older driver who isn't a young kid, um, and put them in a Formula One car and have them be in you know, good enough shape where they can get through a few laps with their neck and the G-forces. And I think that's one of those areas that you just don't know because you've never been in a Formula One car. It's just, it, it's something like, you just hear about, it's like folklore. The FIA's F1 regulations require all drivers to be able to extricate themselves from the cockpit and replace the steering wheel within 15 seconds. If George cannot pass this test, he will not be allowed to drive the F1 car. The pressure Ready? is on. Three, two, one, go. Oh, how are you? Yes, how are you? Good to see you. Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah. Didn't envy you that. Yeah. I don't think even the drivers enjoy that. No, well, we got it done, though. Yeah. And then the simulator seemed to go well. I mean, we got to pass all the tests. Yeah. Having successfully completed an intense day of simulation, George will fly to Austin, Texas. There, he will test his mettle on the demanding race course at the Circuit of the Americas. Want the same cybersecurity protection as the Mercedes-AMG Patronus Formula One team? Sign up for our 15-day free trial and get protected in minutes. Visit CrowdStrike.com today. CrowdStrike, protection that powers you. Next time on Driving Ambition, George's pursuit of speed brings him to the US. There he will continue his intensive preparation for the drive of a lifetime, with some guidance from a Formula One legend. You're good on